Michelle Snyder here, local realtor in Indianapolis, talking to you today. If you're a seller, why it may not be a good idea for you to accept the highest offer on your home. Let me tell you, there are a lot of factors that go into a purchase agreement. And sometimes when you see that big number for purchase price, that really does not mean what it says. And also there's an other factors that are playing into um, the price and the purchase agreement, et cetera, within an offer. There's inspections, there's closings, there's financing, there's addendums that could be attached. Also, you wanna be paying attention to further conditions um, that are written out in the purchase agreement. So let's say you have a, uh, you look and you say, oh my goodness, I've got this huge purchase price on, on um, I like this offer. But when you start getting into all the details of the offer, you look at the addendum, you look at the further conditions, it may not be the best offer for you. You really want to be paying attention to cash over appraised value. That is some language that protects you as a seller in case the, the property appraises less or not as high as the purchase price that the people have offered you. So that's why it's important that you work with a realtor that understands this current market, that knows what they're looking for when you as a seller or selling your home and you're in a multiple offer situation because as sellers agents we are looking out for you to get the best price for you best terms best price etc if you have any questions about selling your home in this market feel free to reach out to me i'd love to help have a great day